Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while, but I'm happy to be here. I've been going through a lot. <laughs> Life has been quite difficult the past couple of months, but I'm happy to be here filming. I haven't been very inspired to do my hair, but today I'm feeling a little bit of energy, so I want to get my hair braided, get it out of the way because my hair, as you can see, is looking crazy. I took my time, washed, deep conditioned two days ago, and today I'm hoping to quickly put it into some braids. I have a bunch of leftover hairs. Ooh. I almost made a bubble. I have a bunch of leftover braiding hair, so I'm gonna use those. Um, I have a few packs over there too. So I'm gonna use them to braid my hair. I guess another reason why I haven't been feeling like doing my hair either has something to do with my the state of my hair. The rest of my hair is not doing bad, but y'all know my bald spot are still going strong. They are growing back slowly, ever so slowly if at all and I don't know I just haven't been feeling like looking at my bell spot so I've just been ignoring my hair so I have two areas problematic areas really is the side of my hair over here which is really really fine um, I have a spot I found that's not growing at all um, so it looks quite obvious that you know there's a ball spot there and these are just super super fine there's nothing going on for it and the very front of my hair, to be honest, I haven't even been, you know, keeping track of what's going on. Um, it's still there. The hair is growing back very slowly, but there's some development, you know, let's put it that way. It's not entirely lost. Not sure how long it's going to take to grow back, obviously, but I've been using my GS by Sedora hair oil. And one of you guys actually... Oh, Thank you so much. One of you guys went and got me the Miracle Drop. I couldn't buy it online and one of my subscribers bought it. And I have to say I'm so, so grateful for you, girl, because I can't get it here in Canada. And she was like, I got you, Bobo, and she got it for me. So <sighs> I'm so happy she did that. Once I get it, I'll start using it and update you guys on it. But I also don't want to use too many things at once. So I don't know. I don't want to use a bunch of products and really not know what's working what's not working as i said the rest of my hair is doing okay i haven't been giving it a lot of love but you know whatever i'm rumbling let's get to braiding i have three hours to do this time is it? it's 11 o'clock and i wouldn't need to be at the house at two so i have three hours to get my hair braided hopefully i can get this done all right, so this is the fun part, all about the hair tutorial. Let's get this hair braided, right, right. I hope you guys realize by now that I'm alternating between older footage and new footage, you know, and giving you a little bit of both worlds onto this hairstyle. So I'm parting my hair like I usually do. It's typically easier to work in section. It's a little less daunting. Using some hair extension, cutting it in half. If your hair is super long, you could get away with cutting it twice because at the end of the day, you are going to cut the excess off. Parting our hair, we're braiding. If you guys want an in-depth tutorial about how to braid, let me know below because I've realized I've actually never done a tutorial like that. Let your girl know and I got you. Anyway, so we're braiding the hair and we are securing the ends with rubber bands. This is as close as we're gonna get to our tutorial. <laughs> so if you want a proper one, let me know. Alright, so I didn't plan on doing this hairstyle. This was meant to be a temporary style because I had to go out, but then I ended up leaving it for two weeks. <laughs> 
Jen. It was cute though, look, it worked, it was cute, so I made it last. Okay, I have to be completely honest with you guys, I was super self-conscious about my edges. Huh. Back in May, I was a different person, okay? I could not deal. So this is me attempting to do my edges. I didn't want to brush them because they were really fragile at the time, but then I ended up doing it anyway. When I realized I wasn't working, I decided to use an eyeliner to fill in the gaps and then gave up and just covered it up with a braid. It is what it is. This is a reality. I felt self-conscious. <laughs> Thank God they grew back. So this is two weeks later. We're here, we're feeling better, we're doing our makeup, you know? It's time to finish this hairstyle. So this is what we're gonna do. The style is actually so easy and simple. Anybody could do it. I believe in you, I think you can do it. So now all that's left to do really is to cut the end. So when I braided my hair, I made sure that the hair was, that the rubber band was in the same spot with each braid. So it made it super easy to just cut off the excess. The fact that I had my hair in the style for two weeks created some kinks in my hair, but it's okay. I didn't think it was needed to dip it in hot water, but I guess you can if you want to. Moving on to doing my edges. Again, <laughs> apparently I'm obsessed with doing my edges. Anyways, um, I used a gel this time around because you know my edges be disrespecting me. It worked out, it worked out decent. I like, I hope you like, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really love this hairstyle. I have to do it again in the fall because it's so cute. <laughs> Look at me. Okay, girl. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the support over the years and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.